Do you need to run a campaign on Meta, so Facebook or Instagram, to promote your hotel, but you are running out of ideas about headlines, descriptions, or creatives? Do you want to see what other hotels are doing and how their ads look like? And especially, do you want to see your competitors' ads? What kind of campaigns and ads they have been running? What kind of messages they are delivering to their prospects in order to get more revenue bookings? And I'm pretty sure either one or all of these statements are true for every single hotel. And so today we're going to see together how you can do all of that with a very simple tool and a free tool provided directly by Facebook. These are more coming up, so let's dig in. So the tool that we're going to see together today, it's called the Facebook Ads Library. And for those of you who work marketing, I think this is no big news, especially for those working advertising, because it's such a must have tool to check into and to have a look into at least, I would say, a few times a week, if not once per day. And so if you're not familiar with it, essentially, you can just go to Google and just type Google Ads Library or eventually uh, you will tap the direct URL, but essentially because it's very really easy, so facebook.com slash ads slash library. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty self-explanatory and pretty um, easy to use because all you need to do is just uh, um, fulfill these uh, three fields, which is basically first the country that the ads that you want to look into are served. So in my case, currently I am in my home country in Italy and therefore Italy is automatically detected and it's my default option, but I can go for all countries or eventually select any country that I want. And so for example, I just go for all. And so category, you must select all ads, everything else, all other options that you might be presented with is not of interest for us. It's just for sensitive topics like politics, like in these cases. So just select all ads. And then let's see some example together. So the first one is just by going with a very broad search, just like hotel. I mean, no brainer. And no, and no further explanation needed. And as soon as the uh, results have been provided, eventually you may go, depending on what kind of searches, for example, if you went for all countries, you might want to filter down by, um, for example, at least the language, um, so that you might want to filter out uh, the language that uh, you are not necessarily familiar with. And that's pretty much it. Okay, just a little bit to, uh, okay to apply the filter. Okay, and so here we are presented with a bunch of results, everything that is related to the query that we enter in the search box. And so it doesn't necessarily mean that all of the advertiser are hotels. It can be, they can be OTAs, for example, or anything related to the query that we have entered in there. And so it may be, for example, other, um, not necessarily hotels, maybe like OTAs, like we said, but anything that include hotels, like for example, uh, travel agencies in general, so, all right? And so here you might want to go and just have a look into them and see what kind of competition you may have worldwide. I mean, not necessarily your direct competitors, but what other hotels have been doing in terms of ads. And so if you want to be a little bit more specific, of course, the second option is to check your hotel competitors, all right? So let's say, it's a little bit slow, it doesn't get stuck. So let's assume, for example, this hotel, I just select one, just because it's been suggested. Otherwise, you just enter the exact name of your competitor, um, the name that you find on their Facebook page. All right, and that is gonna be, so let's just pick one randomly and let's assume that is our competitor and we will want to check, okay, what kind of ads they have been providing their prospects with. Um, what to look into specific? Um, so, so first of all, you see that the look and feel is slightly different than the one actually delivered and deployed within Facebook and Instagram, for example. Um, that doesn't really matter. It's not. Uh, it's not. It's not an important thing. Like for example, especially the creatives, as you can see, is not. They are not in the right format here in Facebook Ads Library. But that doesn't mean that that way are when they are deployed in the Facebook feed. 
uh, they don't look good. It's just that it's slightly different formatting here. All right, it's just a look and feel thing, but it's not important for us. What it is important eventually is to look into the copy. So eventually what kind of copy, what kind of angles they have been using. So first of all, what they are doing in, sense, in the sense that if they are focusing on uh, specific messages, uh, specific packages, uh, offer uh, special occasions or whatsoever. So the real goal or the real topic of their message. Second of all, what kind of uh, angles uh, are they trying, are they testing? I mean, is that a persuasive copy? Is that a convincing copy? Is that an assertive copy? Whatever that, that may be, just to have a look, just to have an inspiration. And the third of all, of course, the creatives, all right? This is actually one of the most important, if not the most important thing in the context of visual ads like they are Meta or Facebook or Instagram, uh, simply because the copy is much more important. Now, by experience, I can say the, the hotel industry is not super creative, all right? So it's quite difficult to find creatives that um, are very creative <laughs> in that sense that because most of the times that the creative that I run into are just you know other room pictures or just the you know the whole picture or the main entrance picture or whatsoever and uh, yeah very little else um, but uh, in terms of creatives what you may see and what you may look into is also for example what kind of call to action they place in the copy because that is very much important so call to action may be in the copy and maybe in the creatives, and it may be also in the, uh, of course, call to action buttons, like in this case, a sign up. All right, so that is what you might want to look into. And when, uh, uh, let's say another, let's try another search. Another example, so third example is to actually look into the big guys, all right? So eventually big chains, or not necessarily big chains or big groups, but you know, those hotels and those corporations that are very well structured and therefore you know that they might have been running consisting and persisting um, campaigns, Facebook campaigns, Instagram campaigns on Meta. And uh, the reason is that uh, being so structured, uh, you might want to find some sort of inspiration. So let's try some big guys, like for example, B Four Seasons. Four season hotels and resort. I'm just going for the chain, and then you may um, narrow down by the single locations, of course. But here you see four season and resort. These are all the active, uh, active campaign, active ads that they have. So you see that, for example, they have many different creatives. This is a carousel. This is a video. Sometimes, and you also find some static image. Not in this case. They work a lot with videos. You can actually play the videos. So you can see what kind of um, content um, is the video about. And that is the third example. And the fourth example is actually a little bit more techy, but it's actually very useful and very easy to use because it's essentially... So let's assume, for example, that you want to run a campaign for, uh, let's say now is November, let's say um, um, New Year's Eve. Right, so because uh, you have to run a that kind of campaign, you might want to look around and see what kind of inspiration, what kind of messages other hotels have been providing for those kind of special occasions. And so you have two options in that sense. So you go broad as we did before with the term hotel, and in this case, you may want to see, for example, uh, uh, New Year's Eve package. I'm not sure if I'm gonna find something. But let's see. Okay, like in this case, we don't have much of hotels result. Like in this case, it's a junior suite as is current, makes it time class. New York's here. Package includes accommodation. Okay, here is something. But as you can see, with a broad search like this, um, the results are also broad. And so not necessarily in target. We're not actually looking into... Um, we're not just provided with the uh, hotel results, but actually also something else. But it's still quite uh, quite a nice thing, uh, quite uh, an interesting search. But let's assume that you want to be a little bit more granular or a little bit more precise. What you can do is to use the double quotes uh, um, or to include the query in double quote. Because by doing so, you actually get into the phrase search match and uh, Facebook is going to provide you 
with only the result that include your query. And so it's not going to be broad, but it's going to be very, very laser focused on this term. In other words, uh, Facebook is going to pull, Facebook as a library is going to pull only the results that include precisely that query. And like in that sense, a new an NYE uh, package uh, here, it is included in here, right, in the copy. There may be a term included in the copies from the um, primary text uh, and maybe in the, um, like in this case, uh, in the headline, it may be even in the description, wherever that be is, if it's included, it's going to be, um, it's going to be pulled up by Facebook. When you see some interesting result further than that, you can actually mouse over or the name of the hotel and then view ads or go to the page. View ads is essentially going to bring you to the specific page of that advertiser, that hotel. And it's quite interesting because if you find out that there is a hotel or a few hotels that they have been running very interesting campaigns and you may want to save them and eventually check on them on a regular basis. Actually, what I would suggest you doing is to create your own file, like a Google Sheet file. And then every now and then, I mean, if you don't want to do it like this, if you don't want to do it like every day, um, it might take like 10 minutes, 15 minutes per day. That's actually a good practice, especially if you if you work in marketing. Um, but if you don't want to do it on a regular basis, so once every few days, uh, you might want to actually save the results that you get, both the copy and the creatives. So create your own database and maybe you can cut or categorize them. Like for example, the ads for New Year's Eve, ads for special occasions, ads for discounts, ads for wellness packages and so on and so forth. So that you may refer to that database of yours upon need, all right? So whenever needed, you just go in there, you may filter based on what you are looking for, and there it is. So you save a lot of time, and it's actually quite interesting at that. All right, so this is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just ping me, send me a message, and uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.